What's up, fellow shockers? My name is Shaka San. Welcome to the video, and let's play a game. A game? Play a game? No. Let's get a little bit of an update, shall we? Kind of. Uh, I got a few things here on this piece of paper I want to talk about. Yeah. First off, I want to give some thanks to some of the people that have uh, reached out to me or have uh, reached out and supported me since my uh, I Need You Guys' Help video that I uploaded pretty much a week ago today. Um, I want to thank my friend M. Like I'm not going to name specific names, by the way, only for protection purposes, but you know who you are because I'm going to say what you did. And you go watch it, and you can be like, I did that. He's talking about me right now. Yeah. But thank you to my friend M uh, for sharing my page on just your personal Facebook. I don't know how, I don't know if that did anything, but I appreciate the fact that you actually did that for me. And if everybody, if nobody had uh, followed through on that, that's their fault. Uh, thanks to some of the people. Um, in the YouTube groups that I have joined on my Facebook. Um, at church, a friend of mine said that I can go to various Facebook groups, probably, and find people to subscribe and help me out there. And I have found a few. And if you are someone that's watching that from the YouTube group, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, and I think the biggest thanks of all comes to my goes to my friend D you're watching this D you know what I'm saying he helped make sure this computer that I'm running on right now runs at full capacity full power you know giving me good hardware you know that you don't have to override your uh, graphics card to play an 8-bit game while using Bandicam at the same time yeah empty soul had to override my ban my graphics card to play Empty Soul. How? Why? I do not understand it. 8-bit game and Bandicam. It still doesn't seem like it'd be that much of a stretch. But it was. So apparently, yeah. Um, but now I got a big old beefy good graphics card that runs everything a whole lot smoother. Um, yeah, so I want to thank you D for helping me with this and cleaning out some of the computer uh, to make it run a little bit better I appreciate all of that thank you transitioning flawlessly to the next topic is the new hardware that he gave me uh, like I said it's a graphics card for the most part and a couple of other things like cleaning out some of my CPU because I guess it was dusty really dusty um, and he just, you know, wiped some of that off and put it back. So, yeah, the new hardware is going to allow me to play some bigger, better games that actually, uh, can take a bit more, that actually take a bit more juice to run effectively. And I am glad to have that because now I can start playing games that I want to play that I couldn't play before because, you know, I d because if I had to override a graphics card to play Empty Soul... I don't think I'm going to get anything. <laughs> mm. I got a couple of game ideas too. He actually sent me a... He actually gave me a game. Uh, I'm not going to say which. It's going to be a surprise. And there's another horror game I downloaded on here a long time ago. Alongside Empty Soul. Hoping that I would get to play it. But it lagged hardcore when I turned it on. And I didn't even start recording really. <laughs> um... So, yeah. Uh, also transitioning flawlessly, I've mentioned Empty Soul. I am going to put that on kind of a indefinite hiatus. I will definitely get back to it for sure. It is a series that I want to do. It's just that it is a series that requires a whole lot of time and attention and devotion that I cannot give at this point in time because I still got school to worry about and I still got work. Even if how much, even though I don't get a whole lot of work, I still have work to worry about. And my sleep schedule is also messed up. 
So yeah, Empty Soul, I just cannot do it right now as far as a big series that um, that I, I can't devote the time to it. I just cannot. I will get back to it. It's a series that I want to play very badly. And I will play it one day when I can start making videos a whole lot more often and you no know, consistently instead of like maybe two videos a week and then one video a week the next week and then like three you know I can't keep doing that can't keep doing that can't keep doing that uh, and you'll also probably notice that this angle the camera angle is once again different Shaco san what are you doing? Why you change the camera angle again? You want to do that to us? We don't want that. Well, honestly, it's kind of like a psychological thing. I'm I'm just gonna be very brief with it. Uh, I learned this in photojournalism, when which is a class about making movies, whatnot. Basically, if you hold the camera up to someone, it makes them seem bigger and more intimidating. So. I didn't want to hold the camera angle down here looking up at me because then I'd be like intimidating and that might drive people away. And if you look at a person from above looking down at them, it makes you see the opposite effect. It makes them look inferior and weak and whatnot, which can also drive people away because you don't want them. You don't want to be intimidating, but at the same time, you don't want to be like you lack any sort of confidence. You want to be that even ground, and this is where this is why I put the camera angle here, because it's pretty, quite, literally, eye level with me, showing that we are on equal ground. I'm just a YouTuber, playing games, and you the guys watching. That doesn't make me better. It doesn't make you better. It makes us both human. We're all human here, and we're equal. And I think this is why a lot of YouTubers keep their cameras at pretty much eye level with them maybe a slight variation up and down but nothing enough to where you know it's like I'm so big or I'm so tiny it's all pretty much I'm eye level and that is why I'm doing this this way and now for the biggest part of the video that I wanted to put in a contest that's right a contest competition meaning you get to uh, do something and you get to win prize I do not have a first second and third prize just have the winner and whatnot and quite simply the contest is going to be this you know I you could probably see and look at my channel and see that I lack channel art on the top of the page you know everything that you know shows what the game what the channel is going to be about what people are expecting in their on their YouTube um, I don't have that and I need one because I want people to stumble across my channel and say oh boy this looks like it's going to be interesting I'm going to watch just some stuff I'm going to love it I'm sure so long story short Ugh. This contest is going to be about making this channel some channel art. And the reward is going to be that channel art posted on my YouTube, my Facebook, my Twitter, and any other thing that I might put my name out on out, out there, like a Tumblr, an Instagram, MySpace. But yeah, um, that's going to be the contest. Also, you can sign your name somewhere in the picture so everybody knows that it's yours, that you made it. And also, I will give some shout-outs to you for winning on all of the pages. Um, yeah. I know it does not sound like much, and I n it, it is not much as far as a reward, but it is the best I can do. Keep in mind, this you're looking at a person that has 21 subscribers on YouTube. One of those was a like a sub for sub guy that I didn't actually sub back to because I'm not gonna get into all that. Um, 
He's just like, sub me now, friend. I'm like, no. I will not. I am sorry. I don't do that. So, yeah. Probably like 20 legitimate subscribers and like one not so legitimate. <laughs> um, yeah, you're talking to a guy that has like 21 subscribers and has probably made 20 cents on YouTube. I don't have anything to give aside from good job great thank you I am so appreciative yeah so it's it's simple it's pretty much there's not gonna be any rules aside from you know don't make it like vulgar or you know st stuff I'm trying to keep this channel a little kid friendly you know um, so but other than that you can uh, you can use some photos of me you can use stills you can use photoshop if you feel like drawing you can make like a cartoon channel art that's up to you if you want to put that kind of work in yeah if you're going to use any of my images though i will leave a bunch of stock images on my facebook page i'll put it in the description below but I don't know how to do it, and Google is not helping me, so yeah. But it'll be on my Facebook page. You can go in there, and you can download anything that you need. Um, and if there's one that you need that is not down there, you can um, message the page. I mean, it's not like I get a lot of traffic on there anyway. Sometimes I barely get a like. <laughs> I, I will see any message pretty quickly. Um, and if you need me to send you an image, just, you know, describe what you want. And I will do my best to send you to it. Send one to you, either through my phone or through this camera right here. Depending on where it is and whatnot. I will try my best to send you a good picture so you just Photoshop it in. Um, and other than that, no, it's gonna be fun hopefully hopefully actually some people start doing this you know it's not just like one or two people maybe it's gonna be a few but then again I'll just be glad if anybody does it <laughs> uh, honestly um but yeah I will it's currently May 26th May 26th March 26th and I will be ending it sometime in May I will give a specific date at some point um, about when I'm going to end the vi end the contest, and I will start judging, and I will announce the winner, and yada 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 yada. I'll also be posting updates as far as the competition, including hey, this competition is still going on on my Facebook and my Twitter, and probably a YouTube thing. You know, I'm doing a lot of vlogs slash update videos recently. So I'll probably say, hey guys, by the way, the contest is still going. If you wanted to join, yeah. But, uh, yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much it. Remember, don't, don't be vulgar, but aside from that, you can make a drawing, you can Photoshop, and the winner is going to get shout-outs and the art plastered all over anything of mine. And, uh... I'll keep it there as far as I can tell probably permanently uh, if not then as long as I possibly can until something better comes along uh, but I will still be keeping that image for something I'm sure if I was to ever take off and have a big of big you know thing whatnot but yeah competition making me channel art for shout outs and the right to have your art plastered everywhere. Not much, but it's the best I can do. And I would do more if I could, but I can't. So, yeah. So, I guess with that, I'm going to leave this video here. Uh, remember. Remember. To th m th uh, huh, speak, Jason. Speak, Chandrasa. Speak. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, if you liked it, then give this video a like. A nice big old thumbs up like. Comment some of your thoughts down below. 
or any of your questions. I will answer them as soon as they pretty much pop up because I don't get a lot of YouTube's uh, notifications either aside from, hey, this person is going live or hey, this person just uploaded a video. I thought you want to see it. Thanks, YouTube. I like it. appreciate that. No, so I would see that you commented pretty quickly um, for any contest rules, and I'll be my do my best to answer that. Um, yeah. And do not forget to subscribe. And if you have a friend that wants to be a part of this, share them this video and have them subscribe too. I love you guys. I really do. Do my best. Do my best to show it. Yeah. Remember to check my social media links down below, especially if you're going to be in the contest and you want to use some of my stock photos, because I will be just dumping them, pretty much, on my Facebook all at once. Just dumping everything. Um, yeah. And until next time, fellow shockers, remember to stay epically awesome. Awesome. Later.